Cause yeah, sometimes we'll feel alone In a second I'll be right there Turn around, let it rain Turn around and let it rain on me Hey y'all, just a quick indoor garden update and I'm sipping on some wine. So if I say anything in this video, don't blame it on alcohol. I know exactly what I'm saying. So welcome to the channel, y'all. I appreciate y'all being here. I just wanted to share with you some of the things that are really taking off and some of the things that are growing extra slow. So before I begin, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you have not. Also, like the video because it helps the channel grow. Share the video out and leave me some comments down below so we can talk. Okay, so I came over to this community before I start from the Mukbang community. One, because of everything happening in the world today. I knew I needed to start doing something extra. So I started prepping and doing grocery hauls. And then I started gardening because fruits and vegetables are expensive and hard to come by at times. Um, so I said, why not try to grow your own? So this has been a learning process for me. Um, I have been, let me turn it up a little bit. I have been greeted by some very nice people in the gardening community. I appreciate all the help that they have given me. Um, and still continue to give me through their videos, whether they know it or not. And it's too many for me to call any names out. But what I also have noticed is everybody is not your YouTube friend, and I'm not looking for any. I do, however, I, I am, however, looking for respect because I respect every channel that I watch I will like it I will comment all of those things I would never put another channel down or try to make another channel feel like they are invisible there are some channels that do that out here I'm not one of them you are welcome here I will not over talk you I will take whatever comments that you have for me um, if it's advice, I will take it in and see if that fits what I'm doing. You know, if I don't know something, then I will, and you ask me, I will look it up and I will let you know what I found. Um, although, yes, you can Google it yourself. But if you ask me, then it, I'm going to take the time to look it up and get back to you in the comments with it. So that being said, let me get into the video because I don't want to get too deep because like I said, I have been drinking and I don't want to go off. I, I want to be in a peaceful place because that's what gardening does for me. It keeps me in my peaceful place. You don't want the hell person to come out because that's not who I'm trying to be. So over here, I have my tomatoes. Um, I just pulled one out of here. It did not make it as well as um, one out of this one that I had in another um, one of these trays. I pulled it out. It didn't make it from the transplant that I did on them. So the rest of them, they're looking okay. Um, they don't seem to be struggling or anything like that. There, so you can see it. But these two right here, I will be planting something else in there. Then over here, when I did the green beans, you see how tall they've gotten, y'all? I'll put some light over here. I have to lift my ring light up so I can use it. You see how tall it's gotten right up in here? Y'all, I just planted these on February 5th, and today is February 13th. I also planted my okra on the same day, February 5th. And as you can see, I don't have anything sprouting out. So the seeds that I used, I figured they weren't any good. So I dropped some more seeds in these um, yesterday. So we're going to give that about a week and see what it does. If it doesn't do anything, then I'll go out and purchase more okra seeds. Because then I'll know that the 
seeds that I harvested from my okra are not working. And I also have to add water. I'm trying to let them, they're not dry or anything. Once all of this is dry, and you can always stick your finger down in there and see, but I'm not doing that right now. But they are good. I was waiting for all the water to dry out of it, the bottom, so I could put more in because I had too much water in there. And then over here, I got to do the same thing for this one. Really all of them. So I was trying to get them on the same watering schedule so I don't forget one. Then over here, I have more tomatoes. And well, these right here aren't tomatoes. These were um, a flower, flower seeds that I put in here that I told you I can't remember for the life of me what they are. I won't know until they grow up because I should have labeled it like I did everything else. So label, label, label y'all. And, and these are tomatoes and they are looking good. They're growing. I fertilized um, these things the other day. Over here we have the cucumbers and look at this little fella here. It might have got too much water, so hopefully it will be okay. But otherwise it's looking just fine. I fed these as well, so they should be good. I know this one's good because look at there, y'all. Got that third leaf coming out. That's the real leaf on this one too, that one. That one over there, all of them have a third leaf coming out, so they should be doing okay. Sometimes when things yellow, it's because you need, um, either you need water or they wanna eat. So I fed them, if it continues, well, I know it don't need water because the soil is just fine. Right here, I have my sweet peppers, and I don't know, Sweet peppers do take a long time, you know, a little while to grow is what I've been told. Um, I didn't, I had sweet peppers, but they weren't, they were starts last year. So I couldn't really tell you if they take a long time, but I'm, I'm learning now. They take a long time, but I do see true leaves coming in right here. So I was worried about them, whether it was going to make it or not. If you can see down in there, those are the real leaves coming in. And on that one, this one, oh, this one too, y'all. So hopefully they'll be okay. And I used these color cups because it also helped in case I had to move one out of a tray and put it into another tray. And I accidentally didn't have the little popsicle sticks that I used that I'm going to maybe stop using because they do drink up the water and swell up and blur up. But then I will know what it is. Over here... We have the cantaloupe, which is doing good, and the watermelon is doing great. They're growing just fine. Over here, we have more watermelon. We have the sweet peppers right here in the purple cups. Now this one, I don't know, this one just germinated. I don't know why it didn't germinate with the rest of them, but you can see it still has the seed attached to it. So it just came up, hallelujah. And then over here, more sweet peppers. Notice the purple cups, what I did. Um, and I got these cups from the Dollar Tree for a dollar, of course. They had the different colors and I thought that would be a great idea to use these color cups. And so I labeled one and then I said, I'm not gonna label the rest. And I thought about it, I said, mm, what if I lose a stick? Okay. So over here is the experiment you know, I never intended to grow corn in the house because I am not trying to do that. But I did want to experiment with the popcorn kernel seeds. And I did this on January 7th and a few days later they germinated and it just kept growing. And so I just wanted to see in case we do have that seed shortage because they are talking about seed shortages um possibly this year also because so many people are gardening now i even got an email about it and i said well let me just experiment with popcorn kernels so i bought a bag i didn't pop them and then use them i used them straight out of the bag and i planted one in each of the cups just to see if it would percolate for me and y'all 
time for the percolator. Hey, time for the percolator. And that's what I got there. So I don't expect anything from them. I will be dropping my um, peaches and cream corn when it's time for me to do that. So I'm probably going to take these out the corner here because I need to get some more seeds in. And I need somewhere to put them, y'all. I'm about to be using my living room in a minute. So that's it with the update for the indoor stuff. Oh, no, wait. One more thing. One more thing. One more thing. One more thing. Over here, these are the tulips that my husband gave me for Valentine's Day the other day. You might have seen that video. If you didn't, go back and watch it. I have two of them. So this is the pink tulip. And they have really grown since he gave them to me, y'all. So that's a little update. Look, they even got the soil bulging up. But it's been raining so bad, I have not had a chance to really pot, well, to pot them at all. But there's a dry day coming on Tuesday and Wednesday, so they will be getting pots and potted up. And I'll probably keep them in clusters because I've been watching um, a lot of people who do nothing but tulips and they say that they are social plants so I'm gonna let them hang out together and chill and talk to each other and wherever I plant them they'll be together so that's it for this video y'all y'all take care I'm sorry I got a little deep in the beginning but it was just something that was on my heart. It's, it's room for everybody on YouTube. Nobody's trying to take anybody's spot on YouTube. People are just, they can't go anywhere. They can't do anything. They're growing. So why not start a channel? If you haven't started a channel, go ahead and start a channel. Let me know you started a channel. I have no problem with giving you a shout out. Every Sunday, I'm posting new channels so that you i don't have a lot of subscribers but i'm posting whatever you can get from it i hope you get from it and run with it so with that y'all take care remember i love you but god loves you more but first you gotta love yourself if you don't love yourself i don't expect you to go out and love anybody else because you won't know how you won't know how to treat them so love yourself and i love you but god loves you more bye y'all smooches Yeah, sometimes we'll feel alone In a second I'll be right there Turn around, let it rain Turn around and let it rain on me